Hi, my name is Anna, and this summer I've been working on developing the light detection knowledge base with Drs. Scholiar and Rios. This is an online repository of biosignatures that will guide the planning of NASA missions seeking life beyond Earth. We were specifically de developing arguments that detailed how a piece of data, which could be mistaken as a product of biological processes, is actually sourced by non-biological means. I chose to curate an entry on peptide synthesis. The pe presence of peptides in any samples from an exoplanet would be a strong measure of life because their synthesis is usually performed by cells and requires a lot of energy. However, the abiotic synthesis of peptides did occur on a prebiotic Earth, and um, because of the energy required to chemically link the amino acids, peptides are exceedingly rare in abiotic environments. My entry into the LDKB is under the peptide category and molecular structure in the chemistry branch. My null hypothesis, as you could say, was that relatively short peptide chains composed of just a few amino acids are indicative of abiotic sources. This simple molecular structure is known as an oligomer. One of my arguments was that peptide synthesis can occur abiotically via wet-dry cycling, meaning periods of wet and dry environments. Uh, this process is especially supported by deliquescent minerals, so minerals that have the, the potential to absorb water and become aqueous. My second argument was that abiotic oligomerization can occur in seafloor hydrothermal systems. Uh, literature on this actually convinced me that this environment is not sufficient on its own to pr promote oligomerization. Um, I argue that tectonic processes coupled with hydrothermal activity are more probable source uh, due to the additional high pressure, which is thought to have stabilized amino acids. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something new about astrobiology today.